so hello everyone hope you are doing well in this video we are going to cover what is python modules packages libraries and framework we will start from modules so modules are nothing but a dot py file that defines one or more functions classes which you intend to reuse in different codes of your program so when you create a dot py file for your program that is called a module let us see one example consider this my code folder inside that my code folder you will find three different py files kelsey mul and sum so these three files are called modules every file every single file which is having dot py extension are called module these modules can contain different variables different functions and classes and etc items which you can create inside dot py file second thing you can reuse these modules you can create your own modules and you can share your code with your friends or you can create your code when you are working for a company you can create your code and you can share with your colleagues how your colleague or your friend will reuse your code is by importing your module by import your module name see he will do import and your module name in same way as you are importing math module you can we can see this example to import math module we will do import math this will import my math modules and now i can use math module functions directly by doing math dot my function name so in same way they can import your module and they can use your functions or classes by uh, using module name dot your class name or function name they can also use your code by from import from your module name import function name the above line this line will import the whole module or every function in your module but if i want a particular function or particular class then i can import by from module name then import function name python treats the file name as module names this we have already discussed let us move to another slide these are packages when we collect all the related dot py files inside a folder then this folder is called package you can see here on desktop i have one folder my code inside my code i have different files i have kelsey file and i have mul and sum file so these three files are related why they are related we will see the code of these three files using sublime editor so this is my mul file this is my sum dot py file this is my kelsey file so mul file is just a function multiplication that is returning multiplication of two numbers sum file is summation that is returning sum of two numbers and kelsey file is a calculator function that is importing sum and mul sum and mul from the my code folder this my code folder is a package so it is importing my code dot sum that means sum which is inside my code and i am using summation function and multiplication functions which i have created inside sum dot py and multiplication dot mul dot py so these three files are related so i have put these three files inside my code folder so my code folder is called a package when this folder is called package when i will create a init file underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file 
there are two underscores these two underscores generally call dunder double underscore so when i create dot in a dot py file then this is called package not all the folders having multiple dot py files are packages as you can see you can put different dot py files inside any folder so those folders are not called packages until we create init.py files inside it init.py files must be the part of that folder then only that folder will be considered as package you can see there are different packages which we can install using pip python package installer so if you are wondering where those packages are residing in your computer you can go to the folder where you install the python in my case i have installed the python python inside c then python then python 36 so inside that folder there will be one lib folder inside lib folder there are side packages folder so this folder contains all the packages which i installed in python you can see the third point python packages are collection of modules under the common name space this common name space is created by a directory that contains all the related modules. As we have seen one example where we have created my code folder, that my code folder contains the MUL and SUM file with Kelsey file. That Kelsey file was importing those MUL and some.py file. Let us move to another slide, libraries. So libraries is collection of various packages. So a library can have multiple packages, multiple folders inside that folders, different related files will be there. So in Python, there is no such difference between packages and Python libraries conceptually. Both are same. If you are creating a package that is having uh, multiple directories inside it, so that package will also be considered as library. Let us now see some examples of library. When you install Python, Python standard library will automatically be installed with it. So that standard library will contain math module, random module, statistics module and many other modules that you can import directly you need not to install them it will be installed when you install python it has come with python package there are numpy libraries that is used for numerical python, scientific python, a scipy library matplotlib for plotting, tkinter for UI based applications. So these libraries you can install it. These are some examples of libraries. Now what is framework? So framework is a collection of various libraries. There may be various libraries. You can collect them as a whole and those collected libraries will be called as framework. Example is Django. Django is a framework used for creation of website that will have that will have its own server its user its database everything will be as a framework so this is called a framework this is an example of framework Django is used for web development i have created another video which is having practical example for creation of modules and packages and how to import them that is very interesting video you must watch that 
so after watching that video you can create your own modules and packages and then you can use in your coding or in your software development thank you